Hey everyone, welcome again on Devish Tag, and this is a part three video of the Flutter Random series. In this video, we are going to discuss about that how you can instantly pass the JSON data on your Flutter app. We are not going to use any kind of packages. If you remember that we already have one series called Model Class series where we use the JSON serializable package to pass the JSON data. But in this video, we are not going to use that. We are going to use uh, one of the website available in the internet. With help of that website, we are going to generate a model class, and with help of the model class, we are going to pass the JSON data. So, for any developer who work with the Flutter, they must know about the REST API integration with the Flutter, and all the REST API give the JSON data as a response. So, we have to pass the JSON data all the time. Okay, that's why this video will help you. to understand that how you can pass the json data on your flutter app okay so let me go on a browser okay and in the browser this is the website name the website name is quick type in the website we can generate a model class for different type of the language so we have a bunch of languages available to generate the model class for our case we are going to use the dart language and uh, to get a json data i'm going to use another website called json placeholder so remember in this video we are not going to code for the backend so we are going to use a fake rest api and json placeholder will provide you a fake rest api endpoint okay in the json placeholder if you don't know about it we have a bunch of api endpoint available which is completely free for us and it's it's not a real rest api endpoint it's generally a kind of a fake rest api for you okay with help of this json placeholder website you can work with the api on the flutter app even if you don't have a real time rest api endpoint okay so here we have a bunch of rest api endpoint available for different type of http methods okay So in this video we are going to use the get method okay and uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to use this post or simply we can use this post1 as of now to get the rest api endpoint so in the post1 like this is the endpoint name okay we have this kind of json data okay so what you have to do just copy the json data and just go on a cube type website and paste it it will automatically generate you the model class for you okay also you can provide your name of that model class so i can name it as a individual post and see here it is generated a model class for you now you don't need to create a dot g file or anything with help of the json serializable all the thing this quick type did for you okay just copy the code and after copying the code let's go on the file rest api folder i just created this rest api folder for this tutorial okay and here we don't have anything it's a stateful class and i'm just returning a scaffold and i am using it on a main dot dart file okay so let's add a new file call post model dot dart and let's paste the code which we copied from the cube type website okay so as of now the flutter is following the null safety and the cube type have a limitation that it is not added the null safety thing in their code so what we can do just add a question mark on all of the variable okay so now the issue is solved remember here we have the four parameter the four parameter which we get from here only so the this endpoint have a json data which have the four parameter that's why we got it here let's use the comments one or we can use the users ones 
So let's use the user endpoint. Let's use the raw data and let's copy this total JSON data. You can copy one of the JSON data. That's not a problem. Okay. And let's paste it over here. So it will automatically create the REST API for you. I mean, create the model class for you. You can see that all kind of thing we have the company. So it created a separate model class for the company. And after that company, we have a address. So it will going to create a different model class for the address. So the model class it will going to create, it is based on the JSON data, which we are going to provide. You can name it or anything you can do it from here. So instead of writing a bunch of code or training the JSON serializable in the backend, now we can create a model class instantly. Okay. So with help of the model class only we pass the JSON data. Okay. So let's see that how we can use this model class on our Flutter app. The first thing we have to do, we have to use a HTTP package to call the REST API endpoint. So first thing, let's use the HTTP package. So we have to go on a pub dev and get the latest version of the HTTP package. And after copying the latest version of the HTTP package, what we have to do that we have to go on our flutter pubspec.yaml file and add the dependency of the latest version of the HTTP. Now we have the model class and also we have the endpoint. So let's go over there, the post one REST API endpoint. So this is our endpoint. So we have to use it and let's call it here in the REST API dot dart file. Here we can call it inside the init folder only on the init method only. So I'm going to create a fetch data method and uh, let's use the HTTP package. First thing we have to import the HTTP package, import package HTTP or we can go on the website that how we can import it. Okay, so with help of that, we can import the HTTP package. Okay, and uh, I think the Flutter pubget is not ran. That's why it's giving an issue while importing the HTTP package. Now it's gone. Okay, so let's use this HTTP package. So here, what response await HTTP. So we have to make it a sync method and HTTP dot get as this JSON placeholder endpoint is a get method. Okay. So if I will go here, then you can find that this is a get method. So we have to provide the URL. If you go on a HTTP dart package documentation, then you will find that we had to create a URL like this. We had to use the URI dot pass and provide the endpoint. It will create a URL for the new HTTP package and we have to use that thing. So let's do the same thing over here. I had to use the war URL and we had to use the URI dot pass and the endpoint which we are going to use. On a okay, and let's use this URL over here. So, the first thing we are converting the endpoint into the normal URL, and we are using it here. And after the HTTP get, we will get the response. So, now it's time to use the model class which we created okay now let's use the individual post model class okay which we created using the q tab and uh, 
let me just go there let me copy the name individual post let's come here and let's create an instance of the individual post okay so let's create an instance individual post and let's initialize it also we have to import it right so let me import it the individual post and now we are calling the rest api endpoint and we are getting the response on the response variable what we have to do is that we just have to pass the json data which we are getting from the rest api with help of this individual post model class to do that what we have to do so we have to create an individual post okay and we have to use the individual post dot from json now let's see that what are the code we have inside here so we have two different method so these are the variable okay user id id title and body but we have two different method that is a from json and to json this from json will help you to map the json data into the dart object okay so it will going to map a json data into our normal dart class object and this to json will help you to map your dart class object into the json data okay so basically this from json will help you at the time of http get method and this to json will help you at the time of http post method so as we are calling the rest api endpoint which is a http get method so we have to use the from json method and here we have to provide the response which we are getting so let me use it response and before i will directly pass the response we have to use the json dot decode json dot decode okay so when i use this json dot decode then automatically this dart dot convert package is imported okay now we have to provide the response dot body over here okay and now we converted the json data into normal dart object which means we passed the json data in our flutter app now we can use this individual post instance on our ui and how we will use it so basically if i will use it directly then i will get a null error okay let me show you that thing as well so in a scaffold let's add a body and let's add a column here so i'm not doing anything specific over here i'm just going to add a child and let's add our first text so the first text will be the individual post dot we have a bunch of parameter like id user id body and title so let's use the body as of now and let's add a negation over here because we are following the null safety so if i will hit the save then it will give us a null error okay because at the time of fetching the rest api we just have to add a loading or a circular progress in the curve also because what happened that when we call the rest api endpoint it will not give us a directly response okay it will take some time to fetch the data from the internet then only that will come on our response variable okay that's why we are using the await that yeah we can wait till you fetch the data from the internet okay till that we have to show something on our ui right like a circular progress bar that we are fetching the data from the internet please wait for that i'm going to create a new variable bull loading so at the beginning it will be a true okay because at first only we are fetching the data so we have to call this fetch data first over here so first the init state will run and in the init state we are calling the fetch data and now we can use it over here so let's add the condition over here that if loading is true which mean we are fetching the data from the internet so just please wait till that we are going to show the circular progress indicator otherwise if the loading is false and when will be the loading will be false so the loading will be false after getting back the data then we will set the loading as 
false okay so initially loading will be true and we just have to refresh the page before refreshing the page let me add the main access alignment to main access alignment center okay also we can add a cross access alignment to center basically i'm not working on the ui side as of now so just wait not working just leave it at, as of now so if i will refresh the page then the init state will run and fetch the data and after fetching the data it will show the body you can see that we are getting the body quite a script which will have in our post one so that is a body okay which means we can easily pass the json data now on our flutter app with help of this script type let's add a second parameter as well so the second parameter is the uh title let's use the title over here so uh instead of doing that uh what i can do that let's use this circular not here here only and uh, let's wrap it into the center nothing just adding a bunch of thing over here so instead of the body let's use the title okay the second thing is added we can add some size box over here to see that yeah but the thing we are showing over here so see i'm not focusing on the ui here i'm just trying to help you to understand that to fetch the data from the internet we have a json format okay so when we call the dest api we will get the json data so here is the json data so to use that json data on our flutter app first thing is we have to pass that json data parsing means converting the json data into normal dart object to use it on a flutter app for that we are using the quick type and this quick type is generating a model class for us and with help of the model class we can use that json data on our ui side so basically it will look not nice because i'm not working on a ui side right now but yeah we can now fetch the json data and with help of this model class which is generated by the quick type we can pass the json data that is a quick or instance parsing the json data on our flutter app okay so this was a flutter random series if you like this series as well give a thumbs up also like the video share the video to your friend and don't forget to subscribe it see you on our next video